I'll now demonstrate how to lay out multiple graphics on one page. First we'll set up our plot area and then we'll create some graphs inside of it. Now for the purpose of demonstrating how to put multiple graphs on one page, we're going to just use the same chart and repeat it multiple times. This tutorial is about layout and not about making different chart types. So for the graphs that we're going to make, we're going to be using the data that I've input here called grades and I'm going to be graphing the grades final grade data. Now if I were just to do a histogram of it right now with default settings it would look something like this. One graph on that one page. Now when I want to get multiple graphs on one page I need to access the par parameters. You could list out all the parameters by doing par parentheses. These are all the graphical parameters set up in the system. We're going to want to change some of these. Before changing them, it's a good idea to set up uh, a variable that's going to hold all the defaults. That way I can return to these defaults later. Okay, now we've saved all the defaults as DEF it would be AR. The first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to create an outer margin so that we can plot a main title on the graphic. To do that we do par OMA for outer margin and then I'm going to set that equal to 0, 0, 0,0030. 0. Now the first zero specifies the bottom margin of the page then it goes to the left, then the top, then the right. Okay. Now we're going to set the parameter for how many figures we'd like in our grid. The function uh, par mf call is short for mf is multiple figures, call is columns. So it's going to put multiple figures in a columnar row, Col columnar setup, hard to say. It's going to fill the column. It's going to fill the first column first, and then it's going to move on to the second column, and the third column, etc. Now I'm going to set that to. I want a three by three, so that's three rows by three columns. If I wanted to fill in the rows first, I would do mf row. Actually, I do par mf row. Okay, so now I have a 3x3 three three matrix. And now what I need to do is set the inner <coughs> margins. Now the default is 5 lines, 4 lines, 2 lines, 1 line, plus a little bit. Um, I'm going to set them, especially for this, as 5, 4, 4, 2. Plus one. Now I'm going to shrink down the font size a little bit for the X and Y labels. I'm going to do that with the CEX.axis parameter. I'm going to put it at 0 0.7. 0 0.7 is smaller than 1, so it's going to shrink it a little bit. Okay, now we're actually ready to, <coughs> do, to make our graphs. I'm going to do hist grades, final grade, I'm going to give each graph its uh, title. I'm going to give them all the same titles. I'm going to label the x-axis. And I'm going to label the y-axis. And there's my graph. Now I did MF call, so when I repeat that same command it's going to fill in that first column. And I'm going to just keep repeating this until I filled it all up. Now if you remember I set up an outer margin just an outer margin on the top because I want to leave room for a title for the whole page. So to put a title on the whole page would be title and then type in your title and save it in the outer 
margin. There's my title. And now we're done. We've got our graphs all on one page. And if we want to set the default parameters back, we do a par def.par because that's what we set up as the variable earlier. There you go.